Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Uh, certainly was a hot start to our work week. High temperatures in the valley today in the 90s, 97 night afternoon high in Redding, 95 in Chico and in Willows, 99 in Cording today. But this is easily the hottest day we'll have all week long. This is the hottest day we're going to see for quite a while. We've got a big cool down coming our way here in the next few days. 89 in Bernie, Ron said 86 in Quincy. We got to 90 in Paradise earlier on this afternoon. Tomorrow, though, ah, let the cool down begin. 8 o'clock in the morning, well, these September mornings are all cool. 64 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. Noontime, only in the low 80s, and we'll finish it off tomorrow. Only around 90. That's a nice healthy drop in temperatures. And we continue to see those temperatures drop later on this week. Nice big cool down in our forecast. By Thursday, we're looking at highs only around 80 in the valley. Ah, boy, really comfortable stuff. The hazy skies, locally smoky conditions that we have out there, unfortunately, that is going to be continuing for another day or so at least. After that, that may improve because of the same thing, which is increasing the fire danger in the mountains over the next few days. So it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. Red flag warning is up for Tuesday and Wednesday here for the Sierra Nevada, east of the Sierra Nevada, for uh, northern Shasta County as well, primarily for locally gusty winds over some of the higher elevations here. We could see gusts 15 to 25 miles an hour, which may improve our air quality in the valley, but it may also increase the fire danger in the mountains and may also push the delta fire around a little bit as well. Kind of a good news, bad news situation. More bad news, frankly, than good. All right, low pressure up here to the north of us. Ah, it's getting to be that time of the year here, finally. This is going to swing into the Pacific Northwest, but that's close enough to us to break high pressure down and allow our temperatures to cool down, bring a few clouds on in the mix here, by Wednesday evening, maybe even a few showers in the Siskiyous. I wouldn't get too excited about this because if we see showers here, it's going to be about one drop here, one drop there, not much. But the cool down is for real, the clouds are for real, and the gusty winds may be for real in the mountains also. Today, not much wind out there, a whole lot of smoke for the Delta Fire pouring down to the valley earlier on. Then it starts to drift out to the east in the later parts of the afternoon. But look at all the smoke and haze that we have in the air, our air quality. It's lousy. But it may improve with those gusty winds, unfortunately, coming our way later on in the week. Not tomorrow too much, though. Locally smoky still around Mount Shasta City, Dunsmuir, Weed, McLeod, those areas. Highs in the middle and upper 70s. We'll find highs close to 80 here in the Sierra and the Cascades. Uh, one way, a degree or two here or there, close to 80. On the ridge, lower and middle 80s in the forecast here for tomorrow. 85 in Paradise as we begin to cool things down. In the north end of the valley tonight, low temperatures in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, those afternoon highs in the low 90s and still locally smoky skies, especially around Redding and Anderson and Cottonwood and the city of Shasta Lake. In the mid-valley, overnight lows anywhere from the mid-50s to the low 60s. Tomorrow, those afternoon highs right around 90 degrees and hazy sunshine. Finally, your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast with weekend is always in view, showing the high temperatures down into the 80s by Wednesday, low 80s at that. What a beautiful finish to the week we have coming our way. Weekend also looks very nice also. Redding's forecast out of the 90s and into the 80s here, so a healthy cool down is coming our way soon. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Ahead in sports, the International Tennis Association defeated